Hi, Adam Sweet here. Today, I just want to talk about fingering the octave mandolin. So it, it is tuned in fifths like a standard mandolin or a violin, but the difference is the because of this, uh, the long string length, this one happens to be 27 inches. Um, the distance between the frets is significantly, significantly more than what you are used to. Obviously, open string is the same. Uh, first finger is usually either on the first fret or the second fret, so that's fine, that it really hasn't changed. Uh, third finger is usually on the third fret or the fourth fret, so that's fine, that really hasn't changed. But where it becomes complicated is whether you put your fourth finger on the fifth fret, or if you have to go up to the sixth fret for a sharp. So if you have to reach for the sixth fret, my recommendation is that you learn how to pivot from your wrist. So pivot from your first finger on the second fret, pivot up so that your first finger is opposite the third fret, and you're not gonna play that note, but you're gonna use the pivot to give you uh, about an inch more reach so that you can reach the sixth fret more easily. So let me show you that again. So from, uh, from the fourth finger on the fifth fret, pivot your wrist so that you can reach that sixth fret. I'll show you from, from the beginning. So first finger on the second fret is normal. Uh, second finger on the third or fourth fret or third finger on the fourth fret, uh, and then pivot your wrist so your first finger is opposite the third fret, and now your fourth finger can more easily reach the sixth fret. It's still a stretch, and if you're not used to using your fourth finger on, the, say, the mandolin, then you're going to have to practice uh, using your fourth finger. If you have any questions about fourth finger exercises, I've uploaded several videos about that topic specifically. So go to the Mandolin Lessons playlist in my YouTube channel and then do a search for fourth finger exercises and you'll find uh, some information about how to do those. You have to get your fourth finger into shape. It's a very long tendon that goes all the way down your uh, elbow and up uh, up into your upper arm and you don't use this finger in real life for much maybe the Q key on your keyboard or the tab key or the F5 on your keyboard but what else do you use this finger for nothing so uh, so you have to exercise it so go check out those fourth finger exercises and then after you've been doing them for a couple of months uh, then you'll start to feel more fluidity uh, in your fourth finger. But that's how you do it. And if you have any questions, uh, links to reach me are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload new material. Thanks very much for watching and hope you have a great day.